Welcome back everyone, season two, we're on the first official project on the car and uh, this is the what is called the Shelby drop or arning drop. What it basically means is we drop the control arm one inch so that uh, it changes the angle of the control arm and that's modification that Carroll Shelby uh, did on all of his cars and what it does it basically improves considerably the uh, handling of the car. So I have this template here that's available online. You can buy a steel template but a lot of people said that the paper one is adequate. So what you do is progressively increase the diameter from one eighth of an inch to the final diameter of half an inch. Some people say 17, 30 seconds to be precise but um, from what I read, the half an inch is supposed to be the best fit. That's what she said. <laughs> Worst case scenario, <laughs> take the welder, plug the holes and start over again. So now the next step is to plug those holes with welds. Look at that. So the upper holes are filled. That's what she said. <laughs> which means the only holes left are the Shelby drops. And now I just need to spray this part here with some other undercoating, but I need to prime those spots which were uh, bare metal. Oh, 
Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui m'essaye Il y en a qu'une là Le fond là, il est beau, j'essaie. Oui, oui, c'est beau. C'est beau, 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 c'est beau. C'est un petit peu là. Juste pour le détruire. Back outside to uh, paint a couple of parts. The leaf springs totally disassembled, blasted. I have a couple of parts of the lower dash pedal, mostly brackets, a pump pulley, and the hood latch that wasn't uh, blasted yet. So uh, I've placed everything in here. Um, it's going to be epoxy primer. I've put the differential back uh, inside the uh, little shed here. And um, yeah, so first two coats of epoxy primer, then clear coat black on the differential because why not? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. To paint the car and most of the parts, I have purchased this Eastwood Concourse 2 uh, spray gun. It's a really nice piece. It comes in this little casing. You have a 1.7 and a 1.3 tip. Uh, everything to uh, clean up and there's a regulator here with a quarter NPT standard uh, fitting. What I use um, on it to increase my airflow is I put high flow quarter NPT fittings. So you see the diameter here is larger than standard quarter inch uh, NPT and I've used a different regulator that I already had. I've bought this one since the hole was a bit larger than the normal one which will allow more airflow and help. The reason I went with the Eastwood Concourse is like many of you guys I don't have a um, 80 gallon tank uh, co uh, compressor with let's say 14-15 CFM. These guns are made to run between I think 5 and 9 CFM. The compressor that I have is rated at 9.5 CFM at 90 PSI which is way more than uh, enough to run this but my other um, I had an Astro Evo T13 uh, which is a really nice gun but it would drain the tank it's only a 20 gallon tank and the reason I didn't use or I wouldn't trust the uh, Astro to spray my car is because I will drain uh, this compressor really really fast so with this one 
maybe I get a less optimal atomization because there's a bit less uh, CFM but it's made to run at a lower rate so it still provides a very good atomization it sprays really well from what I used it for so yeah if you're in the same spot as me this is probably your best option This gun is rated at 32 PSI, so I'm going to let it uh, spray with the trigger down. And I'm at 36. Uh, that's exactly right. I'm 32 PSI and ready to spray.